A rare sight at Young and Egg, it's a food truck serving burgers, chicken sandwiches, homemade donuts and more. I had a really fun chat with Jen and Rob, they're the owners and operators of Home Appliances Food Co. on today's episode of YYE, your Young and Eglinton. Jen and Rob, uh, welcome so much to YYE, uh, your episode two of the um, uh, the virtual stuff that I've done. I, I love doing these things in person, but obviously just not really in a position to be able to do that right now, given the, what's going on with COVID. So I want to thank you very much for taking the time to, to chat with me online. Thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah. So why don't we start off by having you tell us about your business? Sure. Uh, well, I'm Jen, as you mentioned, that's Rob. Um, we are partners in life and we are also business partners. Uh, we operate a food truck called Home Appliances Food Co. It's a pretty no frills food truck. Uh, we serve smash burgers, fried chicken sandwiches, and uh, homemade donuts from scratch. So let's let's get into the food a little bit. So it sounds like it's a pretty uh, simple, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but like a simplified menu. I find that when a menu is simplified, that means that you do things really, really well. Um, what are some of the crowd favorites? What are people really raving about so far? I, I always tell people that you can't go wrong on the menu. It's, it is really small and that's the reason that we're doing it is because we wanted to control, like for me, I'm, I like to control everything. Uh, I want all the steps, like no, no steps to be missed or anything. So I would always push people towards a banquet burger, which is the bacon cheeseburger or the spicy chicken, just because they're like, maybe like a little more out there, but just like a plain cheeseburger like when like i love every order that comes in but i would also say like in the first month of opening like the donuts kind of really took a home run and we didn't really see that one coming so the next thing that i wanted to ask was um uh, uh, we were chatting and you said you had some plans for spring and summer because we're recording this in early february which can't be easy for a food truck so tell us about your plans you've got coming up for spring and summer so we would like to put in uh, tables and to create some sort of outdoor patio that people can go to. Hopefully we're allowed to be outside um, again when the weather's nicer. Um, so, and we applied for our liquor license this month. So hopefully all that goes well and we can start uh, serving some like local craft beers down the pipeline. Uh, and then we're working along like some of our, within our network and our friends, we have a lot of like artistic musicians and comedians. And there's a perfect stage where we are. It's kind of built in leftover rubble from the BMO. Um, and we want to maybe create some just like fun community nights, like having an outdoor live show and just, you know, come and enjoy some food, grab, grab a beer, watch some people be really funny or bring in some like acoustic bands and they can just have at it. Uh, Rob also, we have to work out the logistics on this one, but a big dream of his is to be able to bring in other people or other aspiring uh, cooks or chefs that that have something to offer, but don't necessarily have the means in terms of a place to offer what it is and creating some sort of like, like you can rent equipment and you pop open a tent and have like a little bit of a market, like a street, literally like a street eats type of fair. Um, that would probably be one of our biggest projects that we're trying to get underway for the summer. And uh, again, it's just a matter of like cutting through red tape, but I think it's completely doable. And, and on that note, you mentioned, you know, we have the perfect stage, the rubble and the BMO. Why don't we kind of uh, tell people where you can be found, right? Where, where your physical location oh, is. Uh, we are right at the corner of Young and Rose Lawn. And the exact address is 2444 Young Street. Uh, you honestly can't miss us. It's like it, we're a bright pink and teal truck at that exact corner. So just uh, three blocks of Eglinton. Awesome. And people can check you out online as well, right? Yeah, yeah, we have Instagram. So Home Appliances Food Co, the longest tag name in history. Uh, we also have a website, homeappliancesfoodco.ca. Uh, and you can reach us, like you can message us through our, our website, but it's pretty no frills and bare bones. Um, the best way to reach us would be to like DM us on Instagram. That's pretty much where um, all of our updates, like if we're closed due to cold, um, or we're closing early due to whatever, then we always post updates on Instagram. Okay, fantastic. Awesome. Well, listen, Jen and Rob, I want to thank you very much for sharing your story and letting us know, you know, about your, about your uh, food truck. And uh, uh, I look forward to coming by and, and checking out a, 
I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do a burger or a spicy chicken, but uh, but definitely a donut because I've got a sweet tooth. So um, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. a pleasure meeting you.